What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. Today we're testing out the uh, the Dark Horizon, since it's at a level three. I think I could do something with it because it's got like all of the skills now. Uh, checking out the range. That is like across the board range right there, all the way on the other side. That is ridiculous. Let's see if we do a ooh a dodge. How far do we need to be for that? Yeah, I guess uh, a little bit closer, but this right here, that is like anywhere, anywhere range, and that's ridiculous, so I do like that. So let's go over what it is. We are kind of just working at it, and let's check out some of the skills that we are looking at. So if you go to prepare for combat, click on our dark horizon, we're going to take a look at the skills, and what we're talking about is this abyssal prison. So using, upon using Abyssal Prison, we can all status effect resistance of chained enemies. And the other skill that we had going for us was right here, the, the Abyssal Prison, which we use, binds enemy with chains of darkness and explodes them. Increases the bind count of enemies hit when the chains explode. All right. This right here, this is like anywhere on the map, it will get that target. And as you can see, it's like you could be clear across the other side of the map and it will still get you. So I'm thinking this may be very interesting for Guild War perhaps. And I could kind of kite around and just keep doing that. So maybe I will take that into the next Guild War just to test it out. See how it does and whatnot. So, uh... I'm just very curious about that. And the other thing is this right here, the black, why is it called the black flash? That's weird. <laughs> the black flash. So it gets trigger activated at plus three, activates with use of dodge. This, however, you need to be a little bit closer. So um, for that to trigger. So let's go ahead and do this again and I will show you guys what I mean by that so now that we know kind of what these things are and you could also instead of the gun use the enigma chain so maybe instead of the gun I will put in the enigma chain as well too so here you go this is a fairly decent distance if I do a dodge it will trigger that the black flash and this right here will do the chain and then I can do the chain again on here and then when it explodes it does the Hold count and here I do this boom and a boom so that is pretty sweet it's very flashy and only if only I had like a enchantment level of my uh, shadow Templar it would look amazingly cool you know what let's put it on just for show so we were just leveling up our hollow ring so the hollow ring does have the hollow attack boost which is what the the dark horizon is based off of so let's go ahead and try to pump it up as much as we can until we get up to a point where we can't do it and then we'll uh, do some battles and it's just more farming away so here we go we're gonna go and do this guy right here and what is this is a lizard we could do a sweep but Let's see. Yeah, we could do, you get four free sweeps. Make sure you utilize that. So I'm actually going to uh, come out here real quick just as a reminder. And I also want to show you this as well too. So going to battle, I'm just going to click and gather my stuff. Jungle of the Deep, check this out. Check this out. Normal mode. Ooh, all S's, baby. <laughs> yeah, the Relic Knight even too. So I'm going to do a, um, a sweep of him because he's, he's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. So I'm going to do a two and a one. One just to get this. And I think I need, what is it that I need from here? I think I need something like one of these guys, maybe. I just don't remember. I'm just going to grab this. And then I'm going to do another one and then another two. So... Make sure you use your for free daily on something. Something that may be like a pain in the butt. For me, the Reverend Knight is a pain in the butt at the moment. And I can't really fully do him all the time on S grade. 
but I was able to do him on SK twice. The setup that I used was Tio and Solar, and then I also used uh, Nikki and Philippa. So both of those I was able to get an S grade with like three seconds to spare, like two minutes and 57 seconds. Anyway, so let's go back into our equipment. We're gonna play around a little bit more with our hollow ring over here because you know, we want to level it up. There's lots of like equipments to level up. So you, you can always do something. So let's go ahead and start the battle. I think this guy's easy. So he may be like a one shot kill. This is a lizard chieftain, and I think this is one of the earlier bosses here, probably on stage like three, two, three, or four, or something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, wait until he pops. Okay, so I'm gonna do a dodge and flash, and then I'm gonna grab him, and boom, he is done. So yeah, this is a quickie quick. The flash is pretty nice. I mean, actually, I don't know, I kind of like that. So instead of the gun, I'm actually gonna change it up to the enigma chain Ooh, okay not the best place or time for here i would rather have him show up somewhere else but you know what like i said these karma max sell it 225 you get max goddard coins sell yes and i have tons of it like thousands of these so no sweat on here i used a lot of my goddard coins for uh, what is it? The Revelry Knight, like Chapter 9 stuff. So, let's go ahead and do this again. Yes, don't show me again today. Get out of here. Alright, so. And then after this, I kind of want to check, uh, take a look at the Dragon Fang. Because I also got that up to an enchantment level 3, I believe. And both of these weapons right here are not legendary. So, they are non-legendary. But, it's still very fun just to play around with it. There you go. All right. So hopefully, maybe one more. I'm thinking, and then we could switch it up and uh, play around a little bit more with the other weapon. Oh wow. Ooh, three out of six. And that's an S grade. Let's restart that again. You know what? I'm also getting my metal points because if I need to do this five more times, that will uh, finish off my 24, and that is another set of metal. Go flashy flash, boom, 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 wrap you up, and bam, you are done. So, yeah, they did a whopping 34 damage on me. Yeah, these guys are the early chapters. So, come on now, the loading time like takes longer than the actual kill. Alright, so we just need one more, and then we'll probably need three more for the lizard chieftain. I could always go back to him. Don't want to bore you guys with all this stuff, but it is very important that you do as much metal quest as you can the easier like the easier ones you could get them done like no problemo super easy meteor why are you pushing me around i'm gonna shoot you i'm gonna shoot you ah oh, i missed i missed did i get it i did get it okay so make sure you do your metal quest make sure you do the 24 like uh for all of your conquest boss let's see Okay, we could uh, keep leveling up a little bit more. Oh, back to this guy again. We're going to pause on him. We're going to go to a testing ground. And the testing ground that I want to try out is maybe Chimera. Let's check out Chimera. So let's go into our battle. Let's go to Chapter 6. Because that is the Chimera Conquest. Uh, let's do it on normal first. We're going to try out this on normal and let's just do a regular battle we're not going to use any of our time over here but you know what we'll make it more interesting as well too since we're flashy flash let's do this take out the gun unless the gun is a little bit better just to break them down but you know what i'm going to go all out on the bind with my enigma chain there you go enigma chain the reason why I still have the Stun Shock Emperor on it's because it's still a stun based weapon so I want to do as much stun damage as I can and of course the hollow ring over here for the hollow attack boost then I have my all attack boost of the Spirit Guardian. So I have Kaelin over here who will do these uh, attacks right here 
So let's check her out real quick. Her skills are Pendulum Throw. What is that? Throw a weapon that pursues an enemy, dealing it damage and decreasing all status effect. And Revenge Grip is chain up an enemy that destroyed that super armor of an ally. So dealing it damage and increasing its bind count. And then we have the Demolition Kick. So that's a break. Chains up an enemy, suffering, burn, slow poison or shock. So approaches them, deals damage, and greatly decreases their super armor. So that is a break. So that's why we want to uh, maybe get some status effect with uh, fire or a stun from Meteora. So let's go ahead and give this a try, see what happens. And maybe this will be a good test like the other one of those other elemental weapons that I just posted up. So... This again, not so much about how to be Chimera, but we're just kind of weapon testing the Dark Horizon and whatnot. So let's uh, dodge out the way. Zip, 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 zip. Ooh, maybe not the best time to zip around. And then you are bound. Ooh, flash right to you. Okay, let's put it on hard mode because he went down fairly quickly. I'm not a big fan of poison because poison for harder Chimeras it's like insta-kill. He, he will go after you. So let's exit out of here. We're going to save that chest for later because you never know when you may need it for something. We put it into hard mode. And we're just going to do, yeah, why not? Double up on that. Use a little bit more keys. But we have like 37,000 keys. So I think uh, we, we are okay in terms of keys at the moment. So we could afford a few for the testing here. All right. So... I do this dodge out the way I don't want to do that just yet but unfortunately I do need to do that eventually oh no he's gonna he's getting somebody let's uh, see if I could chain him up from there no or maybe I'm not sure that was interesting okay flash oh no so the dodge if you don't use the flash right away it does go away but we are able to bind him, which is really cool. So chain him up some more, do a dodge, slice, slice, and slice in the back. Not too bad, but it's still pretty easy. Not enough HP for us to really test it out. So let's see if we are able to do it in a little bit harder. So we're going to exit out of here because that was still fairly quick. Yeah, let's try it on hell mode. We have not done hell mode very much. 12 out of 16. Can we do it? Not sure, but we're gonna give this a go and see what happens here. I believe I've done it a few times, like a dozen times. I think that was the number, like 12, 12 times. I don't remember what I used. I think I just used a straight up stun build for him. So let's go ahead and instead of using the dodge to get out the way, right away what are we doing Ooh, who are you getting at can I bind you can I bind you can I bind you don't know yes I can do the flashy flash and then I do this on you it's like a stun move really so do this flash again no there's a cooldown on that flash okay let's go and do that Ooh. and bind and do this what is that move? That's very interesting. Let's uh, try this again. Binding you. Flashy flash. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see if I could uh, get you all bound up a little bit here. Can we do that? Do, uh, nope, we missed the flash action here. But it's alright. Do the flash now. That is such... That's very cool. That is a really good like um, closer right there so you just dodge and then zoop right into them then I don't really know what this is so do I just keep on attacking him I guess so let's see if we could get them all bound up over here there you go and we're gonna do this boom and a little bit more he was trying to fly away oh I've missed that so here is the hold, and then I think you just have to wait for it. So you don't really do anything. 
But again, all still very new to this. Oh no, I got poison. Okay, he is bound, chained up, and boom. Can I do this? Oh no, he's got me. He's chomping on my face. Oh no. Did I get him in the air? Oh yeah. Let's grab that and... Did that explode? I don't really know what that was. Can I grab him in the air? I can. Boom. Okay. So, hell mode isn't too bad. Level 6 or chapter 6. So, a fairly good testing ground. I just can't get poison or I'm dead still. But that wasn't too bad. So, that's pretty interesting. It's very flashy. The Dark Horizon. I think it's made for you to like zip around most of the time. And I think it goes well with a Shadow Templar. So, let's, uh, let's get out of here. We're going to use another weapon. We haven't used, I guess, this weapon at all, to be honest with you. So let's use the first one. We're going to go down. I believe it is not even a T7, is it? I don't think so. I think it is... Wow, is it all the way down here? Did I miss it? It's somewhere. It's not the death site. Nope. It is... Oh my goodness, it's the Dragon Fang. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, so it's the Dragon Fang, and we don't even have the skills for it to really use it, which is the Dancing Dragon EX. So, when using Dancing Dragon, the process of sticking the enemy and swinging takes longer, and all damage taken by the target is increased by 15%. So, the Dragon Fang set, it's an aerial build. Can I, uh, can I do something? Transforming soap. One, two, not enough for you. And that is just the rare enchantment stone. So I can't even do that just yet. What a bummer. Because that would have been nice. So I need one, two, three, four, actually, to get it to a uh, plus three at the moment. So, you know what? Ah, ah. Let's just see. Let's see what we got. We're going to still give it a try. You know, we're... Not a solid try, but just a try. And let's put on our Sky Emperor. And let's put on our set piece over here, which is the Wing Lord set. And where is that other Wing Lord belt? There you go. All right. And for you, let's put this on. And you know what? We're going to try kicking you in the face to maybe make you fly. So let's try... Or you could do the filter. Can we do the filter? Airborne. There we go. Ooh, my airborne. It needs help. It needs lots of help. Ignore defense or critical damage. We'll go with critical damage over here. All right. Let's see. Maybe we should scale back. But this is kind of base Dragon Fang on Hell Mode. I don't know. I'm not sure if we will be able to do this at all. So uh, we will see. Let's uh, Let's give it a go. Get in there, dodge out to the way, kick him in the butt, then let's see, oh, that's a downer. Let's see what we could do here. Can we force a aerial? Okay, got an aerial on you, and then it's all the same with the stabby stab. Wow, <laughs> that's like a pole arm going on here. Okay, that's pretty nice. Oh, hey, we may be able to do this on like a... Uh, can we get you out of the air with the with that? No. And can I get you now? Let's do this. Stab you. Boom. Boom. Oh my goodness, the animation on this. They really did try to uh put this guy up. Oh no, I got poison. It's gonna go after me. Okay, here is the stabby stab stab. But you know what? More animation, the better, because it just wore the poison off. Let's go with another aerial. Let's see what we can do here. And dodge out to the way, kick you in the butt. And the kick in the butt is a downer. Let's get a regular sub-weapon kick there. Now we're just going to stab you in the face. Okay. And we are able to do this, I think. Maybe. Boom. Slam. 
Bam. And more jab to the face over here. More impalement. Which is going to hopefully keep the aerial going up here. And if we do, that would be nice. I guess I should have waited. I'm going to keep on kicking you. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, you're mad at me. You're mad at the world. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> like, uh-oh is right. No. I'm good. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. So I, I believe once I get it up to at least an enchantment level three and maybe a little bit higher than its base uh, rare, I'll be able to do a significant, uh, significantly more damage, of course. So the higher you enchant it, the higher you um, level it up. And yeah, all good things for him. It looks really cool, but you know what? I kind of, I'm kind of favoring the Dark Horizon at the moment. It's just a really interesting zippity zip zip build. So maybe Meteor is not the best for it, but you know, I'm just using her as is. I kind of like it at the moment. So let's take another look at the Dark Horizon again. So Dragon Fang, I need to work on. Dark Horizon, I am. I'm working on it. So right now it's at like what T7, but I just need to uh get up there just a little bit more. Oh, I gotta like figure that out. I cannot miss that opportunity to uh do that zippity zip zip. Let's uh let's just click on all of those, see what happens. Can we stop you from doing whatever it is that you're doing? And what is the cooldown on that? Because we could do that, but then if we dodge right away, it doesn't come up again. So I'm just curious as to when that is available. Is it on like a, a timer? I think I need to take a look at that. Come on now. Let's grab you. Let's see if we could chain you down. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we could keep you chained. And then, oh, no. Zip. Get out of the way. The zip is pretty nice. So it's not an always zip situation. Nope, 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 Oh my gosh. Got the crunch. It's like, uh, yeah. But anyways, poison equals death in Chimera. Just make sure you uh, don't get poisoned like me. But that's, uh, that's about it. So we are going to continuously work on our Dark Horizon. I want to play around with it a little bit more because it just seems very fun zipping around you will definitely close the gap so i want to also bring this into the guild war but you know we will see so i hope everybody's doing well staying safe and healthy and let me know what companions that you are using so this is my i guess enigma chain dark hollow horizon type of setup but what works for you and what is it that you use so uh help me learn I guess I'll play the game a little bit better and maybe like learn something else as well too. So uh, yeah, that is it. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy. And you know what? I'm going to pop another video in right after this and it'll just be the, uh, the legendary Pandora reveal. Let's see what it is. I really want that Shadow Templar. Please. I'm saying please. Would you please give it to me? And what do we get? We got a Bone Crusher. Okay. All right.